Alright, Epic Gamers. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to uh, compile the PR Boom homebrew for the Game Boy Advance because uh, some people are having a bit of trouble with it. That's this port. Basically, uh, this dude, Doom Hack, I showed it in my last video. He uh, reported the full PC Doom to the Game Boy Advance. Uh, there are some bugs still. Um, it seems to be pretty ordinary. Well, yeah. It's pretty epic, but how do we add our own iWeds and how do we edit the source code and maybe even improve it or something like that, alright? Okay, but he actually, this guy is kind enough, he actually gives you most of the instructions. Um, so, for developing Game Boy and uh, DS Homebrew, I'm going to use something called DevKit Pro. I remember using this fucking ages ago for DS Doom, I made like a modified port a little while ago and then, yeah, but it's a bit different now, they've got it like uh, a Linux command line sort of thing now um, well, okay, well, so we'll click on that click on that link download it, I do cool oh yeah, they, they've changed it up a bit, but back then you would just use the Windows command line to make the or compile everything. Now it uses some piece of shit. <laughs> okay. We will download and install. Nah, I'm gonna keep the downloaded files. Um, you can tick every one of these. I'm just on a virtual machine doing this tutorial for you, so I'm literally just gonna untick everything but Game Boy Advance. That's all I give a shit about. So, yeah, we'll hit next. Now, um, don't change this path. No matter what fucking path, if it's not C Dev Kit Pro, nothing just seems to want to compile. It just says that there's a missing folder with, like, some .h files, and j just leave it C Dev Kit Pro. It does not like anything else. So, we'll do that. So, we'll let it do its thing, and, uh, yeah. And, uh, here we are. We've installed it. So, nah, we're not going to donate, we don't give a fuck. Alright, so, uh, now you'll notice, oh, Jesus, Windows 10 is awful. You'll have something called msys2, and this is what I meant with the Linux, oh, dear. Alright, um, what if we go to directory manually? So we'll go floppy, di no, 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 we'll just go local dick, C, devkit pro, Oh wait, hang on. I think it's popping up now. Ah, yeah, here we go. Alright, so now it decides to pop up. Okay, so if anyone is familiar with CMD, it's pretty similar. Although, this is using some weird bash emulation kind of like shit. Um, a lot of programming language packs just seem to include it nowadays. Uh, Chocolate Doom's compilation progress using something similar. So, to list what's in this directory, you type dir, just like in um, DOS and CMD. So that'll show us what files are in this folder it's currently in. And it appears to be basically the uh, you know user folder. So basically, uh, uh, of course, Windows 10 doesn't have it up by default. If I go maybe desktop. No. Okay, well fuck it. C uses Kippy Kit. It's basically going to be this folder. So change directories, you would go say cd, take for change directory, space, and then whatever name. Okay, well I've got devkit pro into the um, c drive. So how do we get to the c drive? I'm glad you asked. You type cd slash c slash. What the fuck? Anyway, now we're in the c drive. We can go CD Dev Kit Pro. There we go. You can even make a folder. I'll make a folder called uh, Projects. We can put our Doom copy there. All right. Okay. So let's try and make this uh, a little bit easier. Um, navigating the path because having to find the folders manually after going to Ims this is a bit annoying. But first, we'll need Doom. Now, if I go back to the Doom hack. In the release page, you can actually just download the source from here 
But this dude is updating it a lot, and I noticed the last time I did it straight off here, the sound was not playing right, and I had to go and commit and fix a couple of lines of code. But if you don't feel like doing that, you could just go to releases where he's got his stabler builds. So he's got one from nine days ago. Um, you can only get his GBA file, which is just a demo, but we want to make our own, so we're going to go source code. Dot zip. Start that up. Now we can drag this into our new projects folder. How epic is that? Alright. So I'm gonna make Cena. Insert the pad. Set home equals dot. Alright. Then we'll make it dot dot slash dot dot slash ends is two I guess we'll make it one of the shell files that'll do Let's see if this works it worked for me last time so Let's see whether it works quickie got that how about that so now whenever we want to compile our code we just go to quickie dot that there we go, and we're already in this folder. But uh Alright. Now, here's another tool we need. We need use page. We need to use GBA WAD Util. Basically what this does is turn a whole IWAD file from Doom into a uh you know C file. Alright. He's also got the command lines in here. So yeah, we'll download this release. GBA Wad YouTube. Alright, Chief. We'll stick it over. We'll stick it over here. There we go. Now, say I wanted to make a Wad of Doom, like the first Doom. Alright. Except not just the demo. We'll go on here. Now Windows 10, I believe, has like a little option. Uh, where we can just open CMD. No. Did I get rid of that? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Alright. We'll just do it the classic way. There you go. So you just type CD, whatever folder. We are now in here. There we are, here's our GBA WAD util. Oh god. What the fuck now? Okay, cool. Alright, can we run it now? Good. If you want to make a C file out of it, basically follow what he's doing here. So we would type GBA WAD util dash in which would be doom.wad we'll make the C file C file we'll call it doom. just doom.c there we go now I can resume control so our file is now exported there it is now go back to GBA doom we'll go to source and you see doom iwad.c now we'll Fuck up. Now we'll open Notepad again. And we'll drag Doom IWAD.C into there. And you may notice that will include this file here. So this is what we actually gotta change. So we'll actually make a new folder in this source folder. And we'll call it we'll call it IWAD. Like he's done. Now we'll copy that Doom.c in there. Alright. So now we have our C file in there, it's 58 megabytes. <laughs> if you're actually curious to see what that looks like. I'm gonna let that load. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it basically turns the whole entire iWAD into a thing. Can you just shut the f Alright, we'll type doom.c. There we go. I'll save that. I think we're good to make it now, so if we run our little batch file. 
it should start in our directory and we're going to type make that's how you uh, build the code basically so we'll hit make what it's time to start dropping some f-bombs fuck 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 all right let's try this again quickie we should still have it up all right everything's set it should work let's try typing me oh thank god so while that's going a fun thing to note the music's actually just a bunch of impulse tracker files and all the sounds are literally just exported just as is so wide compatibility could be a little bit interesting here we go we got the rom oh thank fuck what a nightmare but once you've done this whole thing and you got it set up it now just works now if i drag this onto visual boy events you should get it oh well, we should i don't i have a feeling the video output is having a bit of trouble yeah. let's try let's try simple there we go what the hell are these controls What's the actual fu who configures these emulators every time hang on fuck off no way just make it all right answer uh i don't know shift you make up down left right uh, A, B, uh, oh, can I not have left control, right control? Okay, hang on. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, we can, you'll notice we can start Inferno now. There we are. Well, playing Game Boy games in a virtual machine seems to be a little bit interesting, I'll tell you that. Yeah, let's try, um, let's try something else. Let's try Doom 2. You will open CMD. Copy that path. So CD. Right click. Enter. The. There we are. Now GBA. Wad. Util. Dash in. Doom2.wad dash c file doom2.c I guess that might take a bit longer awesome so now we have doom2.c now we'll uh, go back into this folder go source iwad paste it in there and doom iwad.c is the file we edit to change what file we want to make so we'll open Notepad once again by hitting Windows R and then Notepad. We'll change that to Doom2.c. There we go. And because I don't want to override my little Game Boy file I spent so much time trying to make, let's make it Doom1.gba. Now if I go back to this M logo, we can type Make again. And it'll just, it's already compiled all the other extra files, it's just going to compile the iWeb part now. Hey, there we go. Now, it's a pretty big ROM actually, 16 meg. you probably have to optimize this a bit yourself. Now, let's drag that into Visual Boy Advance. Always edit the word. You know what, I've never done Doom 2 before. Now, I just noticed the music is not right. Yes, um, I'll just point out that this, uh, 
this source port, I guess, does need a bit of a bit more work. But hey, you have the source code now, and you know how to compile it, so nothing's stopping you, right? So I'm curious, what happens if I load an empty slot in Doom 2? Oh, okay, fuck. <laughs> Alright, it just crashes. But in Doom 1, it would actually skip to the uh, secret stage in E1 and 9. But anyway, that's how you compile this special port of Doom on the um, Game Boy Advance, or PR Boom. And, uh, fuck, that was a stressful tutorial, but now everyone should be able to do it. I hope. Uh, enjoy, fellas. <laughs>